Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about auxiliary space analysis of quicksort. Most of the textbooks and Wikipedia page, they say that quicksort is in place. However, this is arguable. It depends how do you define in place. If you define in place as an algorithm that takes constant extra space, then quicksort is definitely not in place. The partition function of quicksort it's in place if you are using Hoover's partition or Lomuto partition. Whichever of these two you use, they both are in place. They use constant excess space. But if you consider quicksort algorithm, it requires extra space for the recursion call stack. There are other ways people define in place algorithms. The other way, the other definition is if your algorithm is not copying input elements to an auxiliary space then this algorithm is in place if you go by the definition then you can call quicksort as in place because it does not copy the input array elements to another array it only needs extra space for the recursion call stack let us see now how much space quicksort requires for recursion call stack I have drawn a recursion tree for the worst case. In worst case, like time complexity analysis, what happens? You have one element on one side and n minus one elements on the other side. And that keeps happening in every recursive call. So let's understand how much extra space is required on the recursion call stack. So when you make the first call for Q sort for 0, 4, Right, you begin from here, this goes into the recursion call stack and you call for QS04, right? Then you call the partition function, right? After that partition is called, partition goes into the recursion call stack, it partitions the array, it goes out of the recursion call stack, right? It finishes and goes out of the recursion call stack. Now you call quick sort for 00. zero. So quicksort 00, zero comes into the recursion call stack. Now quicksort 00, zero, it fails with this condition. So it immediately returns, right? So you, you're done with the quicksort 00, zero as well. Now you call quicksort 14 here, right? Because the left call is done and before that partition is also done. So you come here and now you call for quicksort 14. So your next recursive call is quicksort 14. When you make a recursive call for quicksort 14, your 04 is still not done. It's there waiting when the recursion call stack for this to finish. And quicksort 124 has also come in the recursion call stack. What this will do? It will call partition. Partition will partition your array from 124 as 11 and 24. And quicksort 11 will be called after that. What will happen with quicksort 11? It will not satisfy this condition and it will immediately return. Right? Then quicksort 24 is called. What will happen in quicksort 24? It will also call the partition function. So I'm skipping some steps here, right? It will it'll call the partition function that will go into the recursion call stack and that will finish. Then it will call quicksort 22, considering the worst case. It will start and it will finish. And then it will call quicksort 34. So I've jumped a few steps here and directly written quicksort 34. Now quicksort 34 will call quicksort 33. Quicksort 33 will return and then it will call quicksort 44. If you look at this recursion call stack at this point, how many stack call frames, how many function call frames are there in the stack? We have five. That's the maximum function calls you have at any moment of time in the worst case. And how is this five related to the number of elements in the array? It's equal to the number of elements. We had five elements, zero to four, and we have five, ele five function calls at most at any point, right? Because when you call 4-4, four, four, it will finish because there is one element only and it will return control back to 
and which means it will go out of the stack then this will go out of the stack then this will go out of the stack they'll start returning but in worst case you have five function calls in the recursion call stack which is equal to the number of elements in your input array so what do you say about the extra space required by the quick sort it's theta n right there are n function call records which is theta n so if you have n elements in your input array you have theta n worst case let us now talk about best case space requirements of quick sort best case happens when your array is divided into two halves in every recursion see uh, your extra space requirement of quick sort can be seen as number of levels in your recursion tree right because if you're calling this then you're calling this then you're calling this then you're calling this this gets over then you are coming here so how many uh, recursion function calls you will have in recursion call stack at most height of this recursion tree and height of this recursion tree becomes theta n when you are dividing your array such that you have one element on one side and n minus one elements on the other side when will the height minimum when you have equal equal elements divided in every recursion half half elements right and that's an example of this case so you have half elements on left side here half on right side here also you have half on left half on right half on left and half on right so what is the height in the in this particular case log n right height of this recursion tree is log n at any moment in your function call stack you will have at most four functions right at most four functions which is log of 8 because we have 8 elements plus 1 right if you have 16 then you will have at most 5 functions at any moment which is log of 16 plus 1 so when you have this much function calls at most this is your auxiliary space requirement because quick sort requires auxiliary space only when only for the recursion call stack recursion calls right it does not require extra space for anything else partition is big o of one extra space if we are considering low mid or host partition but please remember low mid and over partitions they do not provide stability however they both are in place naive partitioning scheme it is not in place but it is stable right so if you are talking about hover and low mid then theta of log n is the maximum space you need in the best case with some optimizations like tail call elimination we can optimize the extra space requirements of quick sort to this in worst case we'll talk about tail call elimination in the next video